Okay, mate. Well, uh, welcome to the club. I'm sure you're going to be a huge success. We're happy to have you. All right, mate. We'll see you at training. Well, there we go. One out, three in. Things are looking good, I think. Hello? Barry Bennett. How are you, wee man? Why did I sell Tom Lee's? Well, because he was paid a fortune and QPR offered half a mil for him. You don't think that's good enough. Well, I'm sorry you don't think that's good enough, mate, but that's, uh, that's just how it is. Mate, I am strengthening. Yeah, you will see. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to episode 2 at Sheffield Wednesday as we look to take the long journey towards Champions League glory with the club. And today we get things underway proper. It is Carlisle in the first round of the Carabao Cup, a League 2 side. We should be able to beat them even though I think we are away from home. And then we get the championship campaign underway against Cardiff City. That'll be a good test to see exactly where we stand. Now as you've just heard, we have made a couple of, uh, a couple of transfers. The big one out and the one for money is Tom Lees. His contract was at the end of this year. He was on over 20 grand a week. I don't think we were going to use him too much anyway. I don't, he was definitely not going to be first choice. Um, so QPR came in with half a million. So we'll take that player in the last year of his contract. It looks like he's been a pretty good servant to the club. Um, but, you know, needs must. He was going to leave anyway. But what we care about are the three signings that we've bought in. Now, as a replacement for Tom Lees, we've bought in. These are all free transfers. Richard Nartley, I guess you would pronounce that. Um... Basically, a cheaper, younger version of Richard Leeds. I think maybe not quite as established, but you can see he's still got a little bit of room to grow there. He was released on a free transfer from Chelsea. He played League One last year. Um, I think as, as far as a backup goes, a young player that could you know, have a role in the squad. He's a good, decent ball player as well. I think he's not too bad. He's only on three grand a week, which is a big difference from the 25 or whatever it was that Tom Leeds was on. So that's the first signing. Now we've got two guys that I think we will see in the first team this year. Yavi Espinosa, we've we've signed. I said we were a little bit short. I thought in midfield, uh, certainly creative players in midfield, and this is what uh, what Espinosa is going to bring. You can see good passer, good vision, good technique, good first touch, and a decent dribbler as well. Um, mentally and physically, he's okay. He's certainly, I think, decent enough for championship level. On eight and a half grand a week for is it one year? I think two years a deal he signed on. Uh, he has been playing all over the place. It's been a little bit of Holland, a uh, little bit of Spain. Uh, came through the Barcelona Academy, never made it into their first team. But again, I do think I do think he's going to be a good, uh, just a good creative player in there for us in the middle of the park. Take a little bit of pressure off Barry Bennon as well. And the third signing that we've made is, well, we've got ourselves an international, a Colombian international, Daniel Torres. Uh, this guy is just going to sit in there again to somebody, another midfield option in a deeper defensive role. Um, he's just a good, solid, all-round guy. He's good leadership qualities as well. Um, yeah, he's on nine and a half grand a week. So basically, we've signed these guys, and I think we're still a little bit off, better off than we were with Tom Lees. He has, uh, well, he spent most of his career playing in either Colombia or in La Liga. So he should be, he should be more than good enough to play in the championship. Uh, I think he's on a one-year deal. Or he's on a two-year deal as well. So hopefully, you know, we'll get a little bit. He's only thirty. He's not like he's over the hill or anything. So. I think we've got a good a good midfielder there and one that's played international football before, which can only be a good thing. Now, Barry Bannon was not happy and a few of the squad were not happy with the sale of Tom Lees. I've promised him we'd strengthen the club. Um, we have a quick look at promises here. You can see Barry Bannon strengthened the first team. He's pleased with what we've done, which is good. Um, we uh, had to promise this guy that uh, that Torres is coming into the team wasn't going to affect his uh, his playing time, which it won't because they're going to be playing different positions, uh, even if they are similar-ish kind of players. Uh, so we'll just make sure he gets the games that he wants. Uh, and then I said that uh, we play some youth players, so you know we'll we'll do that as well. Uh, I usually do that in any case. And improving the coaching squad—that's something I promised in the uh, actually you know both of these I promised I think in the uh, team meeting. Um, so we're, we're working towards that. A quick update of the staff. Um, you can see we still have uh, a performance analysis. I don't really understand exactly what they do, but I'll, I'll, I'll work on getting those guys in. But we filled up the coaching. We even got an extra coach in. Uh, we've filled up our, all the... I don't, never use a technical director, but we filled up most of the other ones there. Again, I don't really know what a recruitment analyst is, but I think there's something to do with obviously scouting. So we'll try and get those guys in. And uh, medical team is, uh, is filled up as well. You can see our coaching staff, though, is pretty good. It's certainly above average for the championship. So that's not perfect yet, but it's where we want to be. Um, all right. Well, that's uh, all the off-field stuff that we had to catch you up on. Let's go and have a look at what we're doing here in our first game in charge against Carlisle. 
We can see what we're expecting from them, a 4-3-3. Uh, lots and lots of debutantes in that team. Uh, and if we're going to have a quick look at what we're doing, this is the team that we're sending out. Now, a few players away on international duty. Liam Palmer is away with Scotland. Um, so that's a bit of a bummer. And uh, Mas Luongo, the star of the team, in my own personal opinion, he is uh, he's away with the Socceroos. So we don't have those guys available for this one. But we're going to go with Dawson in goal. He is our number one goalkeeper, as far as I'm concerned, to start the season. So we'll see how he gets on. Uh, Penny is going to play at left back. Um, not the best defensively, but he should be okay. I should have showed you what we did in preseason as well, shouldn't I? Van Aken is I can, actually a very good left back, I think. But uh, he's going to play centre back for this one. He's going to partner Aiden Flint in the centre of our defence. He is an absolute tower of strength back there. And Ofora is going to be the right back. I think he could also be a decent centre back. Um, but he'll play right back this one with Palmer away. Uh, Bennon is going to be the deep-lying playmaker. I think he could do a really, really good job in this position. Uh, the midfield is going to be Hunt as the box-to-boxer. Um, again, good young player. I think he'll do well for us. And Espinosa will make his debut, uh, playing there as the advanced playmaker for us. Going down the right will be Kadim Harris. I think he is probably... We've got a lot of good wide players, but I think he deserves the first shot at, uh, at that position. Adam Reach is going to be playing down the left. He is very, very useful. I think he's he's going to do well for us. And up top will be Jack Marriott. Um... I mean, he's, he's got all, all he needs to be a good player, so we'll see how he goes. Uh, I am trying to get rid of Jordan Rhodes, as it turns out. Uh, he's on 35 grand a week. His contract's up at the end of this year. He just he lacks pace. I just think maybe he's seen better days. So we'll see if we can get him out. Um, yeah, we've not really... These are too much wages. We're going to struggle. All right, so here we go. Our first team sheet as Sheffield Wednesday manager. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got a good, strong bench as well. What do we want to say to this? We're the favourites for a reason. Um, just go out there, boys. Just play your game. Result will come. Um, so can't we have faith? No, nothing. Okay, let's get out there anyway. and <laughs> see, see what happens here. Um, yeah, thank you for the comments last episode. I mean, everybody, we, I think we're all roughly in the same boat. The points deduction, I don't think, is going to cost us in the long term. Uh, but I don't think, even if we didn't have that points deduction, I actually think promotion would maybe be a little bit too much for us this year. Benham to take a corner. Can we get our first goal from our first highlights off the crossbar? Oh, so unlucky. Was it Aiden Flint with the header, perhaps? Um, I do think we have a, so a solid, strong side. What I don't think we have is the likes of Norwich and Bournemouth and Watford, for example, who came down. I don't think we can compete with them just yet. As uh, we've got another highlight here, Ben and Hunt. Nice early ball there for Penny getting forward. Back to Reach. Adam Reach over the bar. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Let's give him another encouragement here and see what uh, what we can do. Um, another corner. Ben and to take. Bennon, it's a decent one. It's headed away, though. We should get to that, though. He's got Espinosa with him. We haven't seen Espinosa yet. We're going to get a look at him here, though. Let's see if he's got any magic in those boots. Decent ball forward. For, no, Harris wasn't quite on the same wavelength, was he? But it's picked up there by Van Aken. Or Aken, probably. Penny with a little bit more space. We're getting down this left-hand side nicely. Oh, it's a, was it a block? It was a post. Harris has absolutely... How that post is still standing, I don't know. We have had eight shots, ten shots, and none on target. Boys, come on. Guess what we're doing in training tomorrow. Um, all right, we've got another corner. Bennon. It's a nice one. Oh, it's Adam Reach, and it's a cracking header at the near post. And we have got our first goal as Sheffield Wednesday boss, and it's Adam Reach from a corner. Not a classic. It's not going to live long in the memory, but it is a goal, and that is the main thing. A nice ball in, Reach, cracking header, and 1-0. That'll, that'll count, won't it? They don't draw pictures. They just put one next to your name on the scoreboard, and our first shot on target goes in the back of the net. And we are 1-0 up at the break, having absolutely dominated that game. Um, all right, we've got to say, what do we say to this? It's got to be a don't get complacent, doesn't it? Don't let those performance levels drop. Um, we've not done too badly. Now, have they fixed the individual? T they have fixed it. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We've got faith. That's perfect. So much better. That was really annoying me. Um in the beta or beta, depending where you're from. All right, let's get back out there. They've made a change. They're still playing the same way, but they do have a throw now. First, we've seen of Carlisle with the ball. What's our defensive shape like? Aiden Flint is there, heads it away to Harris. Harris, short there for Bannon. Bannon loses out. Oh, dear. Come on, boys. Nice block. Espinosa picks it up. He panics it forward. 
Marriott is there. And, well, let's see. What we don't want to do early in this half is give Carlisle an equalising goal, having absolutely dominated the first half. There's another good block. They still have possession, though. We just can't win this ball back, can we? Hunt's on a booking. We might look to perhaps take him off just to protect himself. What we don't need is uh, is suspension so early in the season, do we? Here we go, Marriott. Let's see what he can do. It's there for Harris. Already almost snapped the post in half. Here he goes again. Marriott uh, Harris. Can he get something? Ball in. Wonderful ball. Oh, Adam Reach. A good effort. It's blocked. And, well, the wide players are looking good. Another corner. Bennon. Near post again. This time it's headed away. You'll pick it up. What can he do? He goes back for Harris. For Espinosa. For Flint. We don't really want our centre back on the board, especially not the one that can't pass. There we go, Van Aken. What's he going to do? Chips it forward for Penny. We're looking good, aren't we, in possession? I mean, yes, it's League Two opposition, but if we could finish a chance, we would be absolutely flying here. Here we go with Bennon. Back for Penny, for Espinosa. Espinosa back for Bennon. That is wonderful stuff. And Dewhurst in goal makes a decent save, and we're going to have another corner. It's the Carlisle Expeditions, Expe uh, what's it called? Exp ex I can't get spit it out. Expedition Center. The Entertainment Center of Carlisle. That joke fell flat on its ass, didn't it? Here we go with Harris. Can he get down the side? He can. Can he get this cross in? Marriott should be lurking in there. It is a good tackle. And it's going to be a goal kick. Uh, do we want to make any changes? Who's looking tired out there? Um, let's have a quick look here and see what we want to do. Hunt's not having the best game anyway. Let's get Torres on for a debut. So that will get rid of that. Marriott's not having a great game. Let's get Josh Windass going up there, shall we? Um, see how he can go as an advanced forward. I think he could be a useful player for us. He did quite well at times in spring spring training. That's baseball. In um, I've gone blank. What is wrong with me today? Preseason. Preseason. Um... I do have a baseball series as well, if you're new to the channel. So that's why randomly the baseball things have come out there. Come on, boys. I mean, it is only 1-0 still. We've absolutely dominated the game, but we are kind of priming ourselves for the sucker punch here, aren't we? Penny is holding Riley out wide nicely. There goes the cross. Dawson has a simple catch. Now, that surely wasn't the highlight. What can we do here? Gets it forward. Looking for Harris. Can't find him. Torres should pick that up. First touch of the Sheffield Wednesday player. Here we go with Harris. Windass is lurking on the last man. Reach is in a good position as well. A fourer is there. He crosses it in. Reach is in the vicinity and head up straight into the goalkeeper's hands again. Let's try. We'll wait for this highlight to end as they lump it forward. Espinosa's there. Early ball forward for Reach. Well, it was. A, I don't know if he meant it, but it got there. Here we go. Espinosa again. Espinosa on the boo. Javi Espinosa with a first goal for Sheffield Wednesday. That's 2 0. That should do it. You wouldn't think they we don't, haven't seen nothing from them that suggests they're going to come back from 2 0 down. And what he did mean that Espinosa, a cracking ball, first time forward for Adam Reach. If that's what we've got uh, in store for us, then we've got ourselves a nice little player. And he followed it in to get the finish as well. Javi Espinosa, ladies and gentlemen, have we signed a good one there? Uh, we should have another sub to make. Goalkeeper's having a bit of a nightmare, but he's, or he's improved his match rating there uh, just now. We. We might as well make the last change if we have it to make. Um, who have we got? Izzy Brown. Probably. So we'll switch a wide player. Let's try Izzy Brown for Kadeem Harris. Harris, I thought I thought he's had a really good game there. Uh, again, we've still the caveat of who we're playing against. Windass does his best, but uh, can't keep possession there. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously we're, we're playing League 2 opposition here, but Harris, I thought, looked quite promising. Here we go with Izzy Brown. No. And Carlisle have possession. Doing a decent job closing them down. I think for a first performance, this, this is not too bad. Um, I'll try and remember before the next game to show you the team dynamics. There's a ball fall. We've been done there, haven't we? And Coyote has brought them back into it. And suddenly, what should be a very comfortable game is, uh, is game back on again. Uh, what do we say? Let's try a demand more. And we've just clocked off at the back, haven't we? Van Aken has let him in, and well, Dawson maybe was a little bit flat-footed there. Could have done a little bit better, but I mean, it was an offside, so it doesn't really matter if it was close or not. And well, there we go. A game that should be over is still now very much back on. Um, 
Let's try giving them some praise late on here. Just see it out for me, boys. See it out for me. Well, we've got the win, I think. There we go. Now we've got the win. But, uh, yeah, it was. we made hard work of it in the end. But 2-1, it was very much a deserved 2-1. Um, we'll say very nicely done, boys. So there we go. We're into the hat for the second round. I, as I, said, I think there were some positives there. Espinosa scoring on debut was definitely one of them. Torres, Brown, Flint, Marriott all made their debuts as well. Penny shines. He was quite brilliant, wasn't he? He really did have a good game. Um, so that, that's... Uh, I was a little bit concerned about him at left back. I had some trialists in to see if we wouldn't need it, but I, I'm happy with that, with what he did there. Uh, and the team dynamics, which I wanted, wanted to show you, you see team cohesion is... It's into the green, which is good. We're not there yet, but that's not too bad, considering how many signings we have. Uh, and club culture and... Or club atmosphere, sorry, and managerial support is all right there. The hierarchy... We can see Bennon, Reach, and Palmer are the club leaders. Uh, and we've got a little bit of support in the squad, but that will hopefully grow with time. And the social groups, it needs to come together a little bit. But again, we've had so many new signings that that's kind of to be expected. But guys, wait right there. We will be right back to get the championship underway against Cardiff City. Okay, welcome back. Now, I did want to show you pre-season. I forgot to do it at the top. because we had some good results and some bad results. We beat Florentina. We beat uh, Real Betis. We beat Feyenoord. Uh, we did have a couple of defeats in there. Ajax was a bit of a bad one to start things off, and Athletic Bilbao as well. So a bit of a mixed bag, but obviously preseason, it's just about getting fitness and learning about your players. So overall, it was relatively good. And the second round of the EFL Cup, the Carabao Cup, we've got Peterborough United. So uh, that's who we are going to be playing in that League One opposition away from home again. Um, we'll very much be rotating the team for that one. We had a week off between the first uh, that game and this one. We don't have that anymore. So the Carabao Cup will go back onto the uh, onto the back burner, and we'll look to use that to, to to rotate players for as long as we're in it. Now this is what we're expecting: a very very similar lineup uh, from Cardiff City to what we saw against Carlisle. Obviously, with better players though. Um, Quick look at what we're doing. We have made one or two changes. So Dawson continues in goal. Penny, Van Aken, uh, Afora moves into the middle with Palmer coming in to play right back for us. Palmer is a very, very useful uh, right winger, right, right wing back, I should say, I, I believe. Bennon, Masluongo is back from Australia duty. So he's going to come into midfield with Espinosa. Um, these three, I'm hoping, will be quite the trio for us this season. Harris looked good against uh, Carlisle. He goes down the right, reach down the left. Patterson comes into play against his former club. We're hoping for the rule of the X. And then he will come back and haunt his former club. So here we go. We see the lineups. Leandro Bakuna, of course. Aston Villa legend. Joe Bennett, Aston Villa legend. Uh, Harry Wilson's a very good player. Uh, also Tutu, we had him at uh, Hart, wasn't it? Hart, when we were up there in uh, FM 19, I think it was. Uh, Isaac Vassell. Uh, a couple of other names there. Lee Tomlin as well, I recognize. He's getting on a little bit now, isn't he? Well, what do we say to this? Um... Well, the underdogs got their cause an upset. Are oh, with the I mean, we're away from home, so okay, let's go with that. Uh, let's try pumping our fists and say that we have faith in everybody. And um, yeah, see uh, see where that gets us. All right, come on, boys. Everyone's looking inspired now. Of course, if you're not completely familiar with Sheffield Wednesday, we do start this season with a six point deduction. We're on negative six right now. So the first job we need to try and do is wipe that out. Obviously. Um, this is, and it's another reason why I don't think promotion, whether it be through the playoffs or you know just uh, finishing in the top two in the league, is really on this year. Because we, I don't think our team is good enough, and I certainly don't think it's good enough to overcome six points to the likes of, uh, I mean, Bournemouth. Here we go with Be uh, Benham with a corner. It's a decent one. Oh, it's there and it's in. It's there and it's in. And it's Adam Reach again. We have got ourselves a weapon from a corner. Adam Reach with his second goal. And it is 1-0 away from home to Cardiff City. That's a wonderful, wonderful start in our beautiful lime green. Uh, I actually don't mind that color green, I've got to say, as a jersey. Um, it's not really Sheffield Wednesday, though, is it? Let's tell them to focus. Uh, and they've all got their frowny faces on now after that. But uh, there we go. All right, goal kick. Can we win that? We can. Palmer's there. He's got Harrison Patterson with him. Can he pick out a pass? Go on, Palmer. Palmer, he tries, it's blocked from Junior Hoylett. Goes back to the goalkeeper. Patterson, close him down, mate. Oh, Mass is there. Mass will do it for you, mate. Don't worry. Penny collects a bit of a hacked ball forward. He goes all the way back to Dawson. Let's try this again, boys. Dawson lumps it forward. Not really what we had in mind. Uh, <laughs> I might need to check what our distribution is. A four, I win that for us, mate. He can't. Oh, Kiefer Moore is in. It's a good block from Van Aken. And 
Luongo, no, get to that. Oh, and it flies into the fans. And, well, that was uh, some entertaining football there, wasn't it? Harry Arthur plays for Forrest. I didn't realise that. Uh, all right, so there we go. 1-0 at half time. We'll take that. It's uh, not been much of a game, according to XG, but um, we've got a goal from a set piece, so that's something. Uh, all right, so let's say keep it going, boys. Everybody seems to react well to that. And let's give them some encouragement early in this second half and see if we can double our lead. Here we go. Espinosa on the ball. Back for Penny. There's a great ball for Reach. Good run from him as well. Can he cross it in? Edge of the area. Mass Luong goes there. Oh, Mass. And here we go up the other end. Bannon with against Harry Wilson. That's a bit of a mixed match. Wales against Scotland. Go on, Barry. Oh, there we go. Barry Bannon comes out on top. Plays it short for Espinosa to come forward. It's tackled away only as far as Adam Reach, though. What can he do? Patterson's making a run. It's a good ball to find Harris. Can he get a cross in? Harris. He crosses. Patterson's there. And Patterson plants the header in the back of the net. Scores against his former club. It's 2-0 Sheffield Wednesday. And forget what I said. We are going to win the league. This is fantastic. Away from home to a decent Cardiff City side. I've got to be honest. I don't know exactly how Cardiff City's doing in real life this year. I should have checked before the episode. Um... But, I mean, they were Premier League side not that long ago. And it's a good header from Patterson. A good cross from Harris. And that's what we want. That's really, really good stuff. And here we go again. Penny with a throw. For reach. No, it doesn't it doesn't reach him. And uh, that was terrible, wasn't it? And Bannon wins it back at Bannon. A defensive gem. He's not just a passer of a ball. Here we go with Harris. Oh, he smashed that into the back of the net. Kadeem Harris with his first of the season. It's 3-0. And what a start to the second half this has been. It was a decent ball from Bannon here as well. And, well, I mean, but the finish. Look at this. One touch and then pick that out. Into the roof of the net. A wonderful strike. It was no placement there. It was just have some of that. And there we go. Swansea's taken the lead. Reading are in front. Bristol City are also in front. Let's give them some more praise. And here we go again. Penny with a throw. Espinosa has it. Back to Penny. He's got space. Can he pick out Patterson in the middle? He goes to Espinosa again. It's there for Bennon. Bennon. Oh, we're 4-0 up. Mas luongo has got the goal. And, well, I take it all back. We are going to win the league this year. What an opening day performance this has been. If we can maintain this sort of form getting forward. Now, of course, it's a long, long season. Cardiff may prove to be a weak side uh, as the season plays out. But uh, look at that finish from Mass. Reminiscent of the Asian Cup final back in 2015. And we go again. Palmer with a throw. Looks for Harris. He finds Luongo instead. L uh, Harris pulls it back in. Are we going to get a fifth? That would be dreamland stuff. Ball forward. A four is there and that'll end the highlight. Uh, well, I mean, we just keep praising them really, don't we? Is anybody looking overly tired? Not particularly. Um, we do have, I mean, we have a crap ton of subs, don't we? So we might as well start using some of them. Um, all right. Of course, I want to play most of these guys in the League Cup. So I don't, maybe I, maybe I do just leave them, let these guys have 90, give them midweek off. Uh, it's balancing the squad, especially championship this first season with the uh, compressed fixture schedule is going to be tricky. Um, my usual... If you're not sort of new to my channel and, and, and not used to the way I play, usually I will just rotate an entire team. I'll have sort of two teams going. But I'll tell you what, for an opening day performance, 4-0 away from home to any championship club is not a bad thing to say. Um, well, I tell you what, it's going to have to be an assertive though. Don't get complacent because that's, uh, that's very, very good. So there we go. Patterson gets one over on Cardiff City. Uh, what a start to the season that has been. And, I mean, we could be... Oh, Bannon, three assists. Oh, 90% pass completion rate. Barry, Barry, Barry. Wonderful stuff, mate. Wonderful stuff. I tell you what, uh, it's a shame that we had that six-point deduction, because otherwise we would be very much top of the league. But we've halved that uh, that that out now. Um and, I mean, that's just been amazing. What a start. I did not expect that. If you have enjoyed that, guys, please do hit thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, of course, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload new episodes. And I think what we'll do is we'll come back. Um, I don't want to drag out the season too long just because I don't think, well, it, especially the start, it's the end of the season we want to get to. Do we come back uh, maybe Birmingham, which is a nice one for me to try and win, and Brentford? 
that might be a good way to come back, I think. We've got two quick-fire games there. We might have some more EFL Cup games. If we get start getting into the later stages of that, uh, we'll start focusing on that again. But I think for now, uh, it's not something I'm taking particularly seriously. So that's what we'll do. We'll come back next time. It'll be Birmingham City and uh, Brentford in the league. And, well, let's see if we can uh, win a few more games between now and then. And maybe we are in a title race this year. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Take care.